Good evening, star seeds. Honey Guy here to bring you a urgent divine feminine reading. It's been put upon my spirit to do so. And I know for a fact it's about to be something explosive because the enemy is stopping at nothing to try to get me to delay this message. And I'm not going to. Okay? As we speak, I am getting spiritually attacked in my home. No physical apparitions or anything, but... Um, <clears throat> the enemy is definitely busy. So, all prayers and energetic protection is greatly appreciated. I'm already on top of it. But just know, these karmics, okay? And I'm talking about masculine karmics as well. Um, this is bigger than just, you know, male and female. <clears throat> Karmics aren't always female. There's actually some masculine energy that I'm feeling right now that is like the epitome of hater, okay? They're trying to stop something from happening, possibly tomorrow, Divine Feminine. It is very, very, very important that whatever you plan to do tomorrow, that you follow through with doing it. This person that's trying to stop you may have a sexual or spiritual transmitted disease um i'm getting aids i'm getting syphilis i'm getting hepatitis c something that you can't get rid of and i'm also hearing misery loves company the reason why they're trying to block you from coming into union or moving forward is because this karmic masculine energy um is suffering at this very moment <clears throat> They will literally do anything to be with you again, possibly with the use of a metaphysical practitioner, hiring a voodoo priestess, or you, you, with the use of some kind of black magic, an Aquarius might be involved, or this person could actually be a very high-profile person. They also see that you are a shooting star, I'm also getting. And I can tell you right now, Divine Feminine, they don't like it, okay? They don't like it. They're scrambling to come up with a new plan quickly because they realize how intuitive you are. And because you're intuitive, this is thwarting their plans. Perhaps you already expected there to be some resistance. <clears throat> you may have already, yes, Spirit is confirming it with the yes card. You were intuitive. You knew that they were going to be on some fuckery tonight. Third eye. Possibly with the spirit animal of the wolf spider. natal chart has come up twice already so you may want to look into your natal chart i'm specifically getting north node is very very important whatever sign is in your north node um is going to be significant to you at this time there may be someone being sent to you spiritually or guided to you spiritually that shares that sign with you it may not be in that placement in their chart they may actually be a sun moon or rising in that sign and this person may be being spiritually called or drawn to you for a specific reason possibly for an opportunity to work they may try to make amends they may want to get out of okay i'm getting a whole new storyline now divine feminine this particular person with the same sign as what's in your north node okay this person might have been in on it at first, and now they're realizing that they want out of this shit. They may be trying to assist you behind the scenes, and the others that have been involved in trying to thwart your uh, progress are also doing some kind of dark energy work on this person to keep you from going into union with this person. This person could be a star seed. This person could be... Uh, a light worker as well 
<clears throat> this person may also be trying to uh, request your services. Whatever, for whatever reason, there is more than one masculine energy here, okay? And it's feeling extremely toxic. They're trying to control the outcome of your reach whether that's your business or the connections that you make okay and the reason why i say this is because you have the no new friends card coming out they don't want you to connect or be able to build anything without them being involved they're trying to control your growth but they don't even want to build with you divine feminine they don't. They just want to make sure no one else does. Whoever this person is, <clears throat> is a very controlling and possessive person. They may be doing this to try to corner the competition because they low-key want another chance with you. But they're not coming correct, Divine Feminine. I am bored in this relationship. They're bored or they may be bored with the current situation they're in now. So if they didn't treat you right before, don't expect them to treat you right now. Whatever they're offering you isn't legitimate. And if it is, it's only appearing as so. Unfortunately, there's going to be masculine energy that isn't going to be at their highest vibration with frenemies. This person may appear to be a friend to you, <clears throat> but the reality of the situation is they don't want to see you shine, Divine Feminine. They may have also been using love spells or some kind of magic on the connection. <clears throat> to try to deter your attention away from what is truly coming towards you. Mm. But this is going to end up biting them in the ass, Divine Feminine, with pride before the fall. They may realize that their fall is coming. They may be experiencing their tower at this very moment. I never meant to hurt you. The reversals are happening quicker now because you are aware of the type of energy work they're doing. Whoever they're hiring to attack you and your family, your fa I'm also getting there may be some divine feminines where your family may even be involved. They may be paying a Taurus to do some kind of uh, magic or someone from a more ethnic background. I'm getting African, South African, or uh, some kind of Caribbean descent. They're definitely working with someone else with the Three of Cups. Divine Feminine. They are hiring practitioners to mess with you. And now the secret is out. They're afraid of this secret getting out or the use of this third party getting out. <clears throat> they're also, I'm getting, they're trying to keep you blinded by something. But the wolf spider has alerted you. Notice in the moon, there are wolves here. The wolves are howling to the moon and it looks like this moon is, is sleeping. The wolves are trying to wake you up or an alert you to something that is happening. Divine Feminine, wake up. You cannot trust these people, okay? You can't go off of what it looks like on social media. You can't even believe half-assed what they say. And they know that you're waking up to this truth. And they fear you coming into your power, okay? They want to keep you stuck. Okay, a Pisces may be involved, but they don't realize that uh, 
They can't and they won't be keeping you stuck, Divine Feminine. Because it's the end to this bullshit with death. You will rise into your true power. You may already be doing so with the Emperor. This could be a Divine Feminine who is an Aries. And your sword is sharp and ready to cut through the bullshit, Divine Feminine. It's time. Don't let these karmic masculine femmes, okay? People confuse as to what they want to be, who they want to be. And this isn't a shot at anyone, okay? All I'm saying is, if you're going to be something, be it. I don't like people that lie about it, okay? That pretend to be one thing so they can make a living off their fan base and be lying to them, okay? These people are sick, okay? Sick. And it's time to raise that sword of truth. I would say claim your throne, but you already on it, baby. Divine Feminine. They have been putting some kind of magic on you to thwart your intuitiveness and try to block you from seeing the truth. But you're walking away from this emotional manipulation. You're done with it. Okay? You're done with it. And you're looking for something real. You may have looked back at everything you have achieved in this matter. And yes, there was growth there. There was tutelage and the ability to expand your knowledge in many different ways they may also be in this energy looking at how much you have grown okay and to see you walk off into the sunset with someone else really grinds their gears which is why they're doing this magic okay but no weapon formed isaiah 54 17 don't ever lose sight of this they see your star rising, Divine Feminine. They can't stop it. They try to, but they can't. And this is pissing them off. Okay? Because they know no matter what magic they do, no matter who they enlist, no matter how many people they pay off, they're going to go broke trying to do it because you are the authority in this situation. You have the say from the Divine. We are also in the year of the Hierophant. Justice is inevitable. And what goes around, comes around. Don't ever lose sight of this, Starseed. This may have people emotional, realizing the levels that they have gone to try to thwart your progress stop you block you try to make you mentally imprisoned to make you think that you're blacklisted baby you're not blacklisted you are the list you're the one who decides what's hot and not and they can't stand that shit they thought that they were in control and the fact that you are a feminine energy you stand strong you stand proud you stand tall in the power of the father son and holy spirit they can't stand that shit I'm getting very strong lady boss energy here, okay? You could be a Pisces or an Aries divine feminine here or have both of those in your chart. There is a king of cups working double time to make sure that they delay you because they know they can't stop your destiny. They've already gotten readings on you. They can't stop it, but they're trying to delay it, most definitely. And they're not trying to show their hand. They may actually have a lot of emotions for you, but whoever they're working with has them by the balls. They possibly have been betrayed by this person. Betrayed by showing these emotions for you. They possibly feel betrayed because they're listening to the wrong people. These very same people in their circle is why possibly they have an incurable disease right now. These very same people in their circle is possibly why misery loves company. Because they messed up and made the wrong decision in their life. 
they want to make sure that their counterpart or their karmic partner take what resonates because this this could be a masculine energy now i don't know if this is your divine masculine i would hope not because it certainly doesn't look divine but whoever this is they feel betrayed and therefore are trying to betray you now from coming into union or moving forward with a soulmate they may have had to act quickly and passionately in this decision um possibly because they knew whoever this person is has the resources and the finances to come in quick and they wanted to stop that shit from happening okay like put it on a full halt this brought a tower okay you could be dealing with a fire sign a scorpio or an air sign or both okay i'm definitely getting sagittarius libra and scorpio here they may have all been working together to thwart this development what's going to be the outcome holy spirit what's going to be the outcome mm. They're going to feel ready to move on this situation. They may be feeling pushed to make this decision because of so many other people being interested, Divine Feminine. But they had to make a decision and they had to make it without emotion, okay? They had to make it without emotion, possibly because their hands were tied. But what they don't realize is this is actually going to manifest against their favor. With the Eight of Swords, they may actually be getting in some kind of legal trouble or getting retribution for the pain that they have caused i'm literally getting some kind of punishment possibly by whatever group or sect that they hold allegiance to you could be dealing with a capricorn they may be very obsessed with you also is how i'm reading this this person may be obsessed they may have cursed these other people just so they could keep you under their thumb divine feminine but they're not making any moves to come towards you legitly. They just want to make sure no one else does. What's going to be the outcome, Holy Spirit? What's going to happen for Divine Feminine, Holy Spirit? They don't realize who the fuck they're dealing with, do they, Divine Feminine? You got the Magician and the Nine of Cups. They can't stop this locomotive. They could try to keep delaying it with their divine magic all they want to, but they can't stop it, baby. You hear me? I'm getting Bee Gees staying alive. Motherfucking wish fulfillment. You're not worried about which side has greener grass because the grass grows green wherever you stand divine feminine and that's motherfucking facts nine of cups with the magician you're manifesting wish fulfillment faster than they can stop you so let them keep on with this bullshit all they're doing is creating more problems for them Mm. passionate communication may be coming they may have tried to contact you via social media phone calls they may be calling you from a blocked number they may be trying to communicate with you through the means of some kind of manipulative tactics leaving things by your door your home shit blowing fireworks up in your neighborhood in the middle of the night who knows who knows but at this point we're done playing these little childish ass games, aren't we, Divine Feminine? Yes, the fuck we are. We're done with it. Either come correct, just like you can approach all these other people and be hanging off their genitals, catching fucking shit that you can't get rid of. You could be man or woman enough to knock on the door and say hello. What's going to be the outcome for Divine Feminine? You have waited a long time for this opportunity. You have been very patient with the Knight of Pentacles. And you're going to get this love. You hear me? 
you're going to get this love. This King of Cups possibly has a very sick and twisted way of showing it. I don't know just how involved he is, but this is your counterpart. With the Queen of Cups coming out, your counterpart is involved in this fuckery. So I don't even know if that makes him divine at this very moment. But let me tell you something. It's a tangled web we weave. Okay? Spirit may have already given you the okay to move forward. Spirit may also be bringing in a new counterpart for you. It may be too little too late for this person. You have been patiently waiting to give this person your cup. You see what I'm saying? You are patient. Probably more patient than any other feminine energy in this motherfucker's life. Yeah, he still played with you. And I don't know about you, but this Divine Feminine ain't fitting to play with you. What's going to be the outcome? Spirit is judging the decisions. Okay? There is judgment here, divine judgment. Archangel Gabriel, I'm hearing strongly. Archangel Michael may already be punishing this person. I pulled some cards on my divine masculine earlier, and the first thing that came out was Archangel Michael. He is on that ass. Nine of Swords. This person is worried about coming into union with you, or possibly you going into union with someone else. That shit is giving them gas, divine feminine. Okay? They got IBS over this shit. <laughs> Dead ass. Because mm, they know they kept you waiting. You came out twice. They know. They know they kept you waiting. And a fine, beautiful, inside and out individual as yourself. A gift from God, literally. And they wa squandered it away. What did they squander it away for, Holy Spirit? What did they squander it away for? Materialistic things. To look a certain way in society, possibly because of what other people thought of them. Status. Too concerned about their karmic's money and what the karmic provided for them. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Clarified by the chariot. They were afraid that whoever this karmic energy was, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn was making threats. Perhaps this person knows where you live, Divine Feminine. This person has been harassing you, possibly gang stalking you, doing harm to your property and your home. This, it was never about money. For this person because they already had money they already had accolades they already had connections this person may actually be gang affiliated is also what i'm getting but this person did this for one reason and one reason only just to fuck with you divine feminine they didn't want the masculine going anywhere near you okay they may have actually been doing some kind of uh, ener energy work as well. They're not satisfied emotionally in this relationship. But they damn sure don't want to see them going to you. What's going to be the outcome? Divine Feminine? Mm, can't make this shit up. You will fight tooth and nail. This is just another day at the office, Divine Feminine. You're used to having wands at you. And you will gladly stand up boldly in your truth. 
Let me tell you why. Because anyone that approaches this throne is going to have to answer to the Most High. How dare you think that you're worthy of making me get up off my throne? How dare you? You are the matriarch of your bloodline, Divine Feminine. You were brought into this life, this timeline, this reality. And in parallel universes, you still on this throne. And they know these timelines are merging. And they are doing everything in their power to manipulate and bend time Damn near breaking their back to do it. Going broke trying to do it. To keep you mentally stuck and not seeing who you are. Do you see these stars on your crown? They're significant. You are the king's star, divine feminine. And there is nothing that they could do about it. Do you hear me? You sitting pretty and comfortable. And they can't stand that shit. Let's pull from another deck. Divine Feminine, what's going to be the karma for these uh, people? Mm. Any other messages, Holy Spirit, in regards to the Divine Feminine? Your family is supporting you. Now, Divine Feminine, I want you to understand. Intuitively, what I'm hearing from Spirit is this may not be your physical family this lifetime. You have to understand that this lifetime, your family is your family this lifetime. It may be some family that is supporting you, yes. But what I'm getting from this is that your spiritual family, your tribe, your purpose, the people that you have walked many many lifetimes with across timelines across parallel universes they recognize you they know who you are you feel like home to them they feel like home to you you feel guided and connected to these people you may not have ever met them before physically but these spirit guides are near and they are supporting you through all of this okay Trust your intuition. There are people working behind the scenes to keep the lines of adversity balanced and at bay. Don't you worry about these jokers. You just worry about sitting pretty. Okay? Doing what you're called to do. Hold the light. I'm also getting intuitively, you may be a public speaker or you may be in a position where you have a lot of people that look up to you and patiently await your opinion and uh, theological reasonings of things. You're also learning, okay? Knowledge. Notice the shrubberies. Everything is alive around this empress. And anything worthy of growth takes time. I mean, the Most High must have spent a little more time on you, Divine Feminine. And that's why they can't stand you. What's going to be? Any more messages? Any more messages, Holy Spirit? The sick and twisted part about all of this, the Divine Feminine, is they want you. They want to taste you. They want to drink you. They want to fill themselves up with your essence. But they're not trying to go about it the right way. They're trying to make sure that no one else does. They may just want your power. They may be power hungry. 